in this lecture we are going to understand about the usage of electrodynamometer type instrument as voltmeter and ammeter previously we have studied about PMMC and moving iron type instrument and objective of using this instrument is these things as meters okay the so same purpose is here also this electrodynamometer type instrument is capable of measuring both AC and DC quantities okay so before using this electrodynamometer type instrument as voltmeter and ammeter we need to understand the mechanism by which it works now this is a schematic diagram of an electrodynamometer type instrument see there are multiple things in this diagram one is a moving coil or we can say MC another is two fixed coil or FC now what is our objective our objective is to rotate the pointer when there is a current flow for that what we need to do we need to apply a torque or generate a torque now how could we generate the torque if a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field like this here the magnetic field is generated by these magnets and when the current carrying conductor is placed here then it automatically experiences a force so whenever it experiences a force it tries to deflect so the same mechanism is applicable here when this entire setup is connected to a circuit like this then the current is entering through this path then it is passing through this fixed coil then again this fixed coil and the moving coil as I have shown here with these arrows so these moving coils are carrying the current like this in this diagram and these fixed coils are working as this magnet in an S pole and producing the magnetic field and making this entire structure as similar as this that's why this moving coil is rotating after experiencing the force and the pointer connected to this moving coil is also deflected across this scale so this is the working principle how an electrodynamometer type instrument works and can be used as meters in the circuit so if we try to recap the concept first our objective is to deflect the pointer for that we need to generate a torque how could we generate the torque by moving coil and fixed coil and whenever the torque is generated the pointer is deflected and our purpose is served now here we are going to use this as an ammeter so suppose this is our supply and this is our load now we have to connect this electrodynamometer type instrument into this circuit as an ammeter so we are just taking it and moving it to this circuit like this now we have to connect it in series with the load for that just I am erasing the line and connecting it in series with the load clear now the entire setup is in series in the circuit so it is working like an ammeter now clear the only one thing that we need to take care of here that we have to connect a combination of resistance and inductance in parallel with this moving coil now your question will be why because it helps us 
to limit the current if any terms of high current comes or if you want to use it in a higher range value then the current is divided in these two parallel paths in a certain proportion that the r by xl ratio of moving coil is almost equal to the r by xl ratio of this shunt path this shunt path so in that way you can use it in various ranges of measurement now we will use this electrodynamometer type instrument as a voltmeter same thing is here also the difference is we have to connect this instrument in parallel instead of series like an ammeter so let's do it like this i have shifted this instrument here now how could we make it now here what we need to do just take supply this terminal as positive and this terminal as negative now connect one part of this instrument to the positive terminal of supply and another part of the instrument to the negative part of the supply clear as it is as we are doing a parallel connection now now connect one part of this load to the positive part of the supply and another part of this load at the negative part of the supply in that way we are creating the entire arrangement as parallel to the circuit now one thing we have to consider here here another resistance r is connected in series in the instrument as i have discussed earlier in range extension lecture previously so the same concept is here the difference is here the r is must be high value of resistance and non inductive clear i think the concept is clear to everyone now i will ask you a question that is if we apply dc to this instrument then fixed coil and moving coil will generate dc current and dc flux so that we can get a dc torque which is unidirectional but when we apply ac to the instrument then how this fixed coil and moving coil are generating an unidirectional torque so that the pointer can show us the reading answer briefly in the comment section below if you think a little bit i think you can give the answer thank you